hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Chrissy, and in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful wrap dress so if this is our first time coming across my video thank you so much for stopping by please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button also turn on your notification bell to be notified anytime new video drops okay so guys i use this picture on the side of my screen to recreate mine with my own beautiful vintage material the only thing i didn't do is to add this pleat on the picture inspiration i didn't add it to mine because my fabric was not enough okay but i'm going to be also explaining how to go about that how to go about the yellow fabric if that's what you want okay so if you're interested you want to keep on watching and let's get started So guys this is the fabric i'm going to be working with and what i have here is one and a half yard of vintage material okay so the next thing you want to do now is to go ahead and fold it into two just like this okay and for the wideness you will need your hip measurement divided by four plus some inches since hip is the biggest part of the body all right so now i will use this upper line here as my shoulder line and for the side, I already gonna have to pin it down in place, okay, to avoid shifting on my table. The next thing I want to do now is to mark from my shoulder to bust line. So I'll place my tape this way, come down by nine and a half inches. That's for my bust line. You can also call it the bust point. So I just make a straight line using the nine and a half inch that I just mark. After that, you come down again by your waistline. My waistline is 15 inches. I'll just go ahead and make a straight line with it just like you see me doing here come down by your waistline once you're through with that you come down by your hip line then for my hip line i'll just come down from the waistline come down by eight inches use it to make a straight line just like this you can also decide to come down from your shoulder to your hip line or you just come down your waistline by eight inches okay so that's my upper line that is shoulder line and this is my bust line my waistline and hip line now the next thing is to measure the length all right so for the length of this dress i want to make use of 36 inches including the sewing allowance okay so i'll just go ahead and make a straight line like this then after that i'll cut it out after cutting i paint back again as you can see so on the shoulder line you are going to mark three inches for your neck width after that divide your shoulder measurement by two plus half an inch stitching allowance so once i'm through with that i'll come down by my armhole depth which is seven and a half inches and also use it to make a straight line just like you see me doing here okay so once i'm through with that I'll also come down by half inch since you are cutting directly on the fabric. This is for my shoulder loop. Then divide what you have left by two. Mark the midpoint. Also come inside here by half an inch. On the chest line, you will mark quarter of your bust measurement. Okay. So once I'm through with that, I'll just go ahead and connect my armhole. Just go ahead and connect the three dots you have here. I always do this on the channel. Okay so now you connect your shoulder slope as well remember it's half an inch since we are cutting directly on the fabric okay so for the neck i'll come down by one and a half inch so this is for the back okay i want to cut out the back first after cutting the back i'll now use it to cut out the front okay so on my bust line i'll just go ahead and mark quarter of my bust measurement one and a half inch um, seam allowance okay the same thing goes on the chest line on the waistline come down there and mark your waist measurement divided by four plus your inches for seam allowance what i marked there was one and a half so on the hip line you do the same thing mark quarter of your hip measurement then one and a half inch for seam allowance you can also add two inches if you want um this fabric is not enough so that's why i'm just managing it like that once i'm through with that i'll just go ahead and connect it this way after connecting from there to my hip line i'll measure what i have on the hip line is 10 inches and i measure the hem line is also 10 inches okay so i'll just leave it like that next thing i want to do now is to go ahead and cut it out just like this after 
after cutting guys i'm going to place another piece of fabric by to make sure it's on a fold then i'll place this one on top of it okay that's for the front so i've gone ahead to cut everything out just like this okay the next thing i want to do now is to cut out the front piece for the front piece i already gone ahead to fold and pin everything together like this as you can see the next thing i did again was to mark three and a half inches here as you can see then i made a straight line with it if you're a plus size you can mark five inches six inches to be on a silver side after doing your straight line the next thing you want to do is to place the back piece make sure it's very close to this line okay so extend the waistline to this other side extend the waistline just like this then also make a mark on the neck weight okay for your front once you are through with that you're going to connect from the neck weight to this waistline okay now i'll place my ruler this way then i'll connect from the waistline to my neck weight okay just like this you just mark your v-shape this way okay so once i'm through with that i'll just make this line very visible for you all to see so after marking i'll go ahead and cut it out just like this after cutting i'll remove the back piece entirely then make the curve i have at the hem okay so for the curve you're going to start from where your waistline is start from there then go ahead and make your curve if you think mine is wide or open you can come inside a little bit okay so after making my curve this way you can see what i have here just take a look at the curve you can use your free hand or your curve root to achieve this okay after making your curve go ahead and cut it out if you think mine is very open and if you think it's too wide you can come inside the little bits all are still the same okay so after that i just go ahead and cut it out just like this so after cutting guys this is what i have can you see the next thing i want to do now is to go ahead and place my back piece again on top of it because i'm yet to cut out the shape okay so i'll just go ahead and cut it out it's either you cut the shape out first if that way will be easier for you you cut it out before making your curve all right if you also want to follow my procedure is also fine it's all the same thing so now i will just remove my pins like this after that i'll keep it aside to cut out the sleeve so for the sleeve i already have two pieces here i already cut it out but i'll just explain what i did here so now for the length of the sleeve what i have here is 18 inches you can make yours very long if you want and for the wideness i have 22 inches you can also decide to make yours 13 inches 35 inches depends on how wide you want it okay so after cutting guys i'll just go ahead and keep it aside again then cut out the belt so for the belt i have this two piece here and for the wideness i have three and a half inches here for the length what i have here is 18 and a half inches on a fold okay so for this other one here it's not as long as this one so i'll just go ahead and join it here okay to give me a long piece just like this one okay so now just go ahead and keep it aside and we are going to start our sewing so go ahead and open up your fabric like this after opening you will place your front piece on top of this other one the right side facing each other then go ahead and sew with half an inch just join your shoulder with half inch after joining my shoulder guys this is what i have here can you see so the next thing i want to do now is to go ahead and fold the neckline so you just fold in quarter of an inch first fold in quarter of an inch first again that is fold it by two into two going to continue from that you get to this other neckline so after i'm um, sewing the neckline first after folding the neckline this is what i have here as you can see now i'll just keep it aside first to work on the sleeve so for the sleeve i just went ahead to make my cuff like a basic sleeve cuff that is what i did here and i'll just measure it to know what i have here so i measured it and 
I'll just mark about nine inches. This is more than my armhole depth. Okay, you can see how I connected it. Then I'll just go ahead and cut it out just like this because we are not making any plates or any gathers on the shoulder, so that's why. I did it like this so at the hem what i have there is 22 inches okay that is 11 inches on a fold don't be confused so after that i'll just open it up this way head ever stretch my sewing machine and i will sew it just fold enough space for your elastic to pass through okay just go ahead and fold after folding the boots fabric you can see what i have here and this is my elastic as well so this is where the sleeve will stop okay the sleeve will stop here so you just go ahead and measure it with your elastic after measuring i cut it out then i use the same the first piece to cut out the second piece of my elastic okay so now i have two elastic here now i will bring my safety pin then i'll go ahead and pass it through the space i created all right you continue doing this to get to this other end So guys i'm um, after passing it through here you can see what i have here so now we just head over to my sewing machine and i'll make a stitch on both sides so the elastic will not remove okay i also do the same thing on this other one okay so go ahead and also shape it after shaping guys this is what i have here for the boat sleeve now i kept it aside then i'll just go ahead and shape my dress as well I'll shape with the one and a half inch allowance I added. So after shaping guys, this is what I have here. So the next thing I want to do now is to attach my sleeve. Okay. You place your sleeve arm hole to arm or right side facing each other. Go ahead and pin it down first. After pinning the arm hole side, notch the upper side of the sleeve. Just like this. That is the midpoint. You notch it. Then you place it exactly on the shoulder line. Okay. Place it exactly on the shoulder line then go ahead and sew around with half inch okay i will also repeat the same thing on this other side so after sewing guys you have exactly something looking like this after sewing guys this is what i have here for my sleeve as you can see i also did the same thing on this other side as well all right so i'm not going to be adding any pleats on this side just like you can see in the picture inspiration because i found that my fabric won't be enough for the pleats the remaining fabric i have won't be enough for the pleats so that's why and i'll just explain how to make this pleat in case you want to create the picture inspiration go ahead and cut out at least four inches straight piece then fold it into two that will give you four inches make your plate then go ahead and attach them to this curve from that side to the hem from the hem to this other side of the waistline go ahead and do yours like that if you want to create the plate okay and you will need three yards for that okay so at this other side i already gonna head to sew my belts as you can see i left one side of the edge open while i sew the other one okay so now you are going to turn it out the right side facing each other like this after turning this is what i have and i'll just open up my fabric from that um, waistline that is from this waistline here go ahead and fold from there first fold it into two Continue folding, continue folding, continue folding till you get to this other side before attaching your belt. Okay. So, guys, this is all for the folding of the hem part to this other side. So, before attaching that belt, what you will need to do is to choose um, where you want to overlap. Like you choose the side you want to be overlapping, just like this. Is either you lap it this other side or you can also decide to lap it this other side whichever way you want it totally depends on your choice so now next thing i want to do now is to attach my belt it's important you choose where you want to overlap because we are going to be living in a small space 
on one side of the seam okay so you can you know attach your bed from there and bring it out the other side then tie it if you don't understand what i'm saying just look at what i'm doing here you will understand because we are getting there very soon after pinning the belt here i'll just pin it again on this other side okay just like this so after pinning go ahead and sew with half an inch after so you have exactly something looking like this do the same thing for this other side and after sewing the both side if you have any excess go ahead and trim it out for the belt so after sewing guys this was what i had although i trimmed out a little bit excess on the belt okay so now you can see the reason why i said you should choose where you want to be overlapped like the side okay and for the small um space this is a small hole at this space i created i told you i was going to leave some space so i left about two inches of space there as you can see so you just attach your bed from that side to this other side okay touch it inside to this other side as you can see so if you want to tie this now you're going to tie it from there to this other end you can actually decide to style it any way you want you can actually decide to play with it if you also want so first i tied here on this side okay i tied it here on the side you can also try to loosen it up and tie on any side you want so this is the back and decide to tie at the back although the picture inspiration tied at the front the one we are creating was tied at the front you can decide to tie us anywhere at the back at this side or you can decide to tie it on this other side okay so after this guys after making everything this is what i have here and this is my sleeve as well the next thing i want to do is to go ahead and iron it out but i want to explain things so after sewing your dress if you wear it you would notice it looks like it's open because you know you're going to be working now so when you walk it's going to be opening so i advise you just tack that area you needed to be closed you tack it or you use your um pressing button to do that whichever way you want to do that go ahead and do okay so guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe so you get notified anytime new video is uploaded